Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hope you're having an amazing day. NVIDIA are doing NVIDIA things with the RTX 1490 receiving some rather interesting updates to its specifications and these will uh, have ramifications to the rest of the RTX 40 lineup. We'll discuss the specs first and then why this is so important. So AD102300 features 16,128 CUDA cores or FP32 as Kobe 7 Kimmy has written here in his tweet. Combine this with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory and this memory is running at 21 Gbps because again it's GDDR6X. Now notice we are looking at 450 watts and two times the performance of an RTX 3090. Further down, he clarifies that yes, this is 126 SMs. We know this anyway because there are 128 CUDA cores per SM, making things really simple here. But the full implementation of AD102 is actually 144 SMs. In yesterday's video, I was also discussing the release date update as well as some of my own performance info with Kobe T7 Kimmy stating that we're going to be looking at the launch of the RTX 40 series being earlier than anticipated. Sometime between, well, basically July or August, as he said, early Q3. He since provided clarification that it's going to be early July. And according to my own information from yesterday's video, I mentioned that there seemed to be an RTX 4090 with some cuts, and it was only pulling around 400 watts of power and it was roughly two times the RTX 3090. I was actually hearing it was around 2.1 but that's kind of splitting hairs. To my understanding though the highest end SKU which for this video anyway I'm going to call the RTX 4090 although it could of course end up with any name well that still does exist. So really this is starting to bring several questions to the forefront. Are we going to see the cut down versions launch first and then the higher end versions launch later. This potentially could be something to do with yields. Maybe Nvidia just want to kind of hedge their bets there. But another possibility, and to be honest, the one I'm more leaning towards, is when AMD launches Nave 31, which is going to be later this year. Basically, Nvidia can convincingly take the performance crown now, and they of course know that most people at this stage anyway they're not so interested in the rtx 30 series or the rx 6000 series ebay is being flooded with tons of graphics cards because of course well basically mining is essentially dead at the moment on gpus for a plethora of reasons so basically nvidia can generate all of the hype and then depending what happens with RDNA 3, they can adjust the clock frequency of the 1490 Ti or whatever it ends up being called. And again, I had been hearing around 600 watts was the target TDP for this. Now, the other obvious point that was made by Kopity here is RDNA 3 was disappointing. Well, actually, he says, I am disappointed with RDNA 3. I don't know what he's personally heard about this, but I don't believe RDNA 3 is going to be disappointing. Now, again, he could have information that is correct and my information could be wrong, or perhaps he had initially thought RDNA 3 was going to have an even higher performance target. I've discussed N31 and 33 to death multiple times on this channel before, and I don't really want to go into the whole spiel about these cards again and again and again and again. But Long story short, I'm hearing around 2.5 times the performance increase over the RX 6900 XT. So that's the full implementation, of course, of Nave 21. And this is done with around 12,000 shaders, rounding up, and apparently 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. This, of course, also is not least of which helped by higher clock frequencies. I've heard Nave 31 hits around 3 gigahertz. Now, you can do some rather interesting things yourself to kind of figure out what the scaling is. Um, Nave 21 tops out at 5120 shaders, but um, if we look at, say, the performance difference between a 6700 XT and a 6900 XT, a higher resolutions anyway, well, it's not like it's got double the performance. 
despite the fact that it has considerably more shaders. Basically, twice the number of shaders, but there are a number of other things that you need to take into consideration. The 6900 XT, for example, has um, 128 megabytes of infinity cache, whereas the 6700 XT features only, um, sorry, features 96 megabytes of infinity cache and also higher clock frequencies and all of that stuff. But if we look at the number of shaders here, just roughly speaking, we're looking at a 2.4 times increase, combine that with higher clock frequencies, and also, of course, architectural improvements as well. However, just because you've got all of those additional shaders running at high clock frequencies, there are going to be efficiency drop-offs. Obviously, you need to actually feed all of those shaders. And that brings us to a lot of questions like what's happened to the front end, the back end of the GPUs, you know, tons of other things. Of course, even things like drivers can have massive, massive impacts on how well the GPU performs or, well, doesn't perform. At this stage, though, I do think it's pretty safe to say that we're looking at at least like low two times increase over um, Narve 21, but I could be wrong. At the end of the day, it's still so early because AMD themselves haven't sent their GPUs to AIBs yet, so they haven't started bring up. And yeah, long story short, though, I think both AMD and NVIDIA are going to be just essentially kicking ass this generation. I don't think it's going to be particularly disappointing. Um, I also just tweeted um, that I have indeed still been hearing DLSS 3 does exist. I don't really have that much more to say on DLSS 3. Um, I've mentioned it several times in videos before, so not to tread over old ground too much, but for those who missed it, DLSS 3 does exist apparently. One of the sources that told me about this also told me about FSR 2, and well, all of that information turned out to be accurate, so I have some good... Uh, Let's just say they've provided me information previously that was accurate, and several now have told me DLSS 3 it does exist, it is real, and it's pretty performant. Curiously though, while DLSS continues to be better in terms of image quality and starts to resolve things like, you know, very fine edges better and so on and so on, and of course performance also does see an increase, I was told that ray tracing performance sees an actually better increase than raster. There are a multi multiple ways that this could be like handled, honestly. It could be everything from fewer rays being used in the scene, or perhaps advanced denoising algorithms. Honestly, we could speculate all day, but yeah, I am hearing ray tracing sees a better increase with uh, DLSS enabled. I can pretty much say that from a logical perspective of what NVIDIA are trying to achieve with their marketing, this does make sense. As NVIDIA at this stage just want everything to be about ray tracing. You know, they, they're doubling, quadrupling, they're doing everything down on ray tracing. But yeah, I think that's just about it for this particular video. I have to say, I am super hyped to see what the next generation of products from both AMD and NVIDIA are going to be bringing to the table. Intel 2 with their CPUs, they are looking really good actually. There are disappointments of course at the moment with Intel's Arc. It seems like it's kind of being released in China only at the moment, but I do feel in the longer term Intel will make a comeback with graphics. I think that they will do okay, but yeah, they're just so far behind of course both AMD and Nvidia. And when you think about it, Nvidia themselves they really are needing to fight tooth and nail at this stage against AMD. I think we can all agree that NVIDIA have not faced such competition in quite some time. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this is going to change the roadmaps of all of these companies over the next several years. With that said, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. It's just been a shorter one for today as I have been dealing with stuff in the real world. But if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Leave a likey on the video, and I will see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.